And I'm just like, why? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my video. If I'm wearing the same thing as the last video, it's because I was talking so much that I thought I'd film another video in one day. So if you are new here, my name is Steph Mayers. I do everything to do with fashion, travel, lifestyle, and a sprinkle of luxury. If you're not already following me, you should follow me on Instagram because I drop all of my outfits and ramblings and luxe ideas and reels and everything else over there. And if you're not already subscribed, you should subscribe too. And you should bring a friend to come and subscribe also because that's what we do over here, referrals systems um, and if you're already subscribed I shouldn't have to tell you by now appreciate you guys gangway this video is literally about luxury trends or popular trends I will not be buying into slash luxury bags I will never buy but if you do see me buying them mind your business but right now I would never buy these bags because they make no sense <laughs> they absolutely make no sense to me um it's probably going to be a quick video so let's just get right into so it so the first bag that I don't understand I've never really understood the hype behind it and I see people clawing clawing and like clamoring to go and get it I think when I even went to buy my Alma in the store a lady was just like oh I, I need it I need it I need it and I was just like Ugh. Why? <laughs> I literally wanted to turn around to her and be like, why <laughs> would you ever need this book bag? It is the Pochette Matisse. I do not understand the hype with it. And like, pardon me if I'm wrong, I don't know if it's like an older thing, maybe as I get older, it's something I would want, but that bag is so ugly. I'm just like, why would you want this book bag? Why would you want this oversized, book bag I, I feel like my book bag in school was cuter than this i i can't i just can't <laughs> every time i see that bag i'm just like there's so many elements on the bag that i hate first of all most people love like it in the monogram canvas i'm like ill ill actually yeah no ill <laughs> i was just like no it's just a monogram book bag i hate it and then it's just, it's just got this little top handle thing going on here makeshift top handle and then they've got the strap and it just looks like a it's like a monogram book bag satchel horse riding i don't know i just can't i can't i will never buy that bag i just don't understand the bag let me know if there's something i'm missing on that like people have like the lux third eye or something i i just don't understand the hype and i see a lot of people buying and reselling it like it's always been sold and i'm just like why <laughs> why so that kind of takes me on to like number two um monogram i am over the monograms i am i'm just over monogram canvases i'm over monogram anything okay maybe not monogram on leather like if it's like the emprunte like embossed into the leather i don't think i'm over that because i kind of like that you know it's like a it's a more subtle vibe but just you know the shouty monogram the 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 canvas that kind of like just looks dirty after a while it's quite it folds in on itself i don't uh, sorry professional i hate it i can't stand it i'm not the other day i came across the ysl monogram and i was just like why why would somebody ever make something like that it looks like you know the the what is it the rattan rattan um um furniture rattan furniture that goes out in a patio i was like what is this it makes my skin itch why have they decided like YSL is such a it's just such a classy staple I know them for nice leathers like oh just stick to that what is this monogram I was just like no you will not be receiving any great British pounds to give me monogram anymore if you see me buying monogram feel free to comment I thought you said you weren't going to buy her monogram anymore, you hypocrite. Feel free, honestly, I give you free reign to say that to me. For me, not liking monogram now, I think it's definitely across the board. But when it comes down to different designers and their monogram canvases, I think they're ranked for me. Like LV, obviously, always going to be a nice monogram print. Um, I do have a lot of LV items in monogram. Um, so I can't say too much about that. But yeah, obviously I'm a hypocrite now. Um, but the YSL monogram, can't stand it. it. There was no need for that to be done. I like the Celine monogram, as I've said. I, I like their Triumph um, Triumph canvas. That's really nice. The Supreme print. If I see another Supreme print, 
I am going to lose it. I absolutely cannot stand seeing that anymore. And do you know what it was as well? When I was much, much younger and we used to like go to market, go to like, if you're from East London or around that area, go to Romford. Um, and in the market, they always used to sell like the, the Gucci Supreme side bags. And you could just see, you could just see supreme everywhere everyone would just have it and now it's kind of like i see supreme scarves i see i well i have the dinosaur so i can't talk too much but that was the one and the only supreme thing i will be buying i promise you that i can't stand it i can't stand it it will be leather now on or nothing i will learn to keep my hands <laughs> in my pocket and not um buy any more items so i don't fully like it leads me on to the dior book tote what are you guys doing <laughs> what do you guys think you are doing by buying this bag every time i see it, i'm just like okay it looks nice we'll give you that you know looks very nice you spent a lot of money like i enjoy seeing it but taking your money out of your bank account and paying for embroidery basically that can get dirty that can get stained easily you can't even wear in the rain it just could never be me. It could never be me. I don't see myself doing that. And the more I see the price go up and up and up, because you know, Dior, I don't know, it's gone to their head, their senses, but they, they are literally getting up there with Chanel and Hermes and stuff. So yeah, I don't ever see myself doing it. I don't, and I don't understand, like I get it looks good, but I just don't see why people are doing it. Of all the reviews, because I remember when I was looking at totes and trying to narrow down all the totes I liked, um, and I was looking at the book tote, um, and a lot of people were just saying it was so uncomfortable to carry in the crook of their arm. It, it, obviously they couldn't then lug it up to their shoulder. So they were just stuck with either carrying it like that or having it on the crook of their arm and bearing the pain of like 10 elephants in there because it was so heavy and so uncomfortable. And I was just like, why would I want to spend over 2000 pounds to do that? Why? <laughs> it just makes no sense to me. Like when I when I buy things, I'm just like, okay, the practical side of me says this. So like, if I weigh it all up, it makes no sense because I know myself as well. When I can't wear a bag often, or I just I just want to pick up a bag and go, and it's not a bag I can wear easily, I won't touch it. For example, my sac de jour, I, I probably won't ever get rid of it. Well, don't quote me on that, but I probably won't ever get rid of it. But every time I go to like pick it up somewhere, I'm just like, oh no, I'm going to be stuck holding it all night. So I'm not just, I'm not going to do it. If it's like a dinner, I know I'm literally going to eat at a restaurant, maybe go out for drinks after, but I'm going to be seated, bags are going to be on the table or on the chair and I'm coming home after. That's fine. I know that's the occasion it's for. For any other day, any other thing, I'm just like, yeah, there's no point even looking towards that direction. I just don't, I don't pick it up. So um just, just even the idea of just spending upwards of two thousand pounds just to do that with another bag i'm just like why would i do that i want a bag i'm going to wear even if it's just to go down the corner shop i'm going to be able to either put it as a crossbody over my shoulder on top of my head under my i need to wear that bag in 21 different ways and still not get tired of it so yeah the book tote has just never really been one for me i'm just like i don't understand it um but i see why people buy it it's very pretty but no, I will never be buying into that. Oh my God. And the next thing on my list, I think my voice is going to go a few decibels higher, are the vanity bags. The vanity bags. Where do I even, it's, oh, uh, where do I even start? I'm even trying to construct my sentence. Number one, it's a vanity bag. It is a vanity bag. We all know what vanity bags are for. So why are people carrying them on the street like handbags? I don't understand it. I don't, every time I see one, I'm just like, do you even feel comfortable? <laughs> do you even feel comfortable? It looks like a cosmetics case or a, like a lunch bag. And I'm just like, and I'm seeing them like strapped across or being held in hand outside. And I'm just like, my mother would kill over it is meant to be in your bedroom you are meant to it's a traveling case what is going on here and do you know what how i feel about vanity bags i kind of understand the people that feel so strongly about not carrying the um the toiletry pouch as um a clutch or a handbag i get it now i get their arguments even though the toiletry pouch i I'll, I'll probably never change my stance on that i think it's fine to carry it as a clutch but the vanity bags i can't get over that because it looks like a vanity bag. I can tell it is not meant to be a handbag. I can tell it is not meant to be outside with you in your hands at lunch. It looks weird. <laughs> it looks so weird. I'm just like, 
every single time I see it, it doesn't matter which value bag it is, whether it's Chanel, whether it's LV, whether it's MCM, every time I see that bag, I cringe inwardly. I'm just, I get secondhand embarrassment. I'm just like, what is this doing out of your dresser? This is meant to be on your dressing table. It's meant to be in your bathroom. When you've traveled from house to hotel, it is not meant to be out here with us on the streets, okay? Oh, I can't, like a little like word vomit slash rant. That is, a trend I hate, a trend I definitely will not be buying into. If I do buy into it, you'll be seeing it on my dresser, in front of my mirror, if I happen to take a little Snapchat, a little a little video, but it will not be walking around the streets of London with me. I just, I, I just, let's just move on. I'm gonna offend some people, so let's move on. Last thing on my list, which I'm kind of hoping will die down now 2020 is over. I know like 2010, 2020 was like the year of apocalypse and everything mad just going on. We were in a panoramic a pandemic, we were in everything. And so I'm hoping this will kind of like be washed out and be done with our ridiculously mini bags. Like, I think the smallest I would ever go is my super mini Dionysus, just because I love that bag so much. And as I've told you before in my other videos, Meghan Markle said it's okay. So how can I not go with my princess? I have to. Um, but yeah, um, when I see like the, the, the Jacques Mousse mini Chiquito, I can't remember the name of it, but the really ridiculous tiny ones. I'm seeing other literally tiny, I'm just like, what is going on here? And these bags are not like 10 pounds. I think I got the shock of my life when I, saw, I first saw that, that, that Jacques Mousse one. Um, and at first I thought it was a keychain or something. And I thought, oh, oh, maximum would be like 50, I think 100, I think that's what I thought in my head. And the price I saw was shocking. Like, and I love Jacques Mousse. Like I've got the Grand Bambino and I would get the Chiquito as well um, in the Moyen size. But I was just like, what is going on here? Is the world coming to an end? You guys are buying bags to literally wear on like, I, I was seeing, I think at one point it was just like, you can wear it in the most ridiculous place. Like I would see it around the wrist, around the shoulders, on the legs, on the on the waist, on as a, as a, as a crossbody. And I'm just like, what is going on people? People, what is going on? Um, so yeah, that is just, that's just a trend I just don't understand. I probably will, will never understand because I, like I say, if you watch my videos, a time will come where I will need to, uh, bags that carry things. Things will need to be carried. And those bags are not carrying nothing but your imagination, lifestyle, and probably some emotional support. And I just don't understand why I would be buying it for any more than, even 10 pounds, I would look at it sideways. Like maybe as a keychain. I could see it as a keychain, but, I'm just at a loss for words, but yeah. So that is a trend I'm kind of hoping will just literally like phase out and people will go back to normal. Obviously we're seeing like more totes, bigger bags coming into fashion now. So I'm hoping fashion is just literally like recycling itself and phasing out that ridiculous trend, that monster. <laughs> I'm hoping they're just flushing out the ridiculously mini bag. The mini bags I have now, I think are quite a decent size. So I would still keep them because it's cute on a night out. Um, it's cute to go out with. So they're stuff I think I would probably have for a long time, but picking up anything smaller than that. I think the, the mini Dionysus, I think is 17 centimeters across. Like my phone doesn't even fit inside there. So I'm just like, if that wasn't a present, I don't think I would ever take my money out of my account and pay them the £635 it is. I don't think I would ever do that. Um, so imagining people doing it for less than 17 centimetres, it was, it was just crazy for me. I think my head was just like, what? Every time I would see something pop up on Instagram, I would be like, what? Because I know how much that is. Do you know how much that is and you're buying it? Your lip gloss couldn't even fit in some of these bags. It's crazy to me. But yeah, that is the last thing on my list, the ridiculously mini bags. It's a no from me. It will always be a no from me. But yeah, let me know down below what bags or what trends are just like completely no for you, complete miss. You will never be buying into them. Um, let me know down below and let me know if you don't agree if there's bags you just love or Tell me your favorite bags that would make me change my mind about the trends I don't like. How about that? That would be that would be interesting to see and actually look at those bags. Um, but yeah, like I always say, if you've gotten this far, you should have subscribed already. You should also have gone and told your friend, come and watch this and subscribe also because that's what we do over here. Make sure you're already following me on Instagram if you are not. It's at Miss S Mayers and I will post outfits, videos, ramblings on here for you. Um, and I hope you enjoy. I hope you have enjoyed the video and until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh,